friends welcome to my channel thanesh here time series prediction or time series forecasting time series forecasting is an important area of machine learning it's important because there are so many prediction problems that involves a time component these problems are neglected because it is the time component that makes time series problems were more difficult to handle because you may be familiar some data it's a uh, sequential in nature because the current data depends on the historic data such data we call it a sequential data uh, the normal neural networks the uh, you know normal neural networks cannot handle sequential data that's why we come up with uh, recurrent neural networks or rnns see rnns has uh, two problems one is vanishing gradient and exploding gradient vanishing and exploding gradient problems so these aspects we have discussed in separate videos related to rnn to solve this vanishing and exploding gradient we have uh, two uh, things one is lstm and gru's and currently we are using transformers as well in deep learning uh, sometimes you may be familiar fine so in this implementation i am using lstm now see characteristics of time series prediction see what makes a time series different from say regular ex regression problem is it is time dependent time series uh, you know any regression problem it is not time dependent here it is time dependent dependent so the basic assumption of a linear regression model that the observations are independent doesn't hold in this case along with an increasing or decreasing trend most time series have some from some form of season, seasonality trends as well based on seasons it's change there is variation specific to a particular time frame for example if you see the sales of a woolen jacket over time you will invariably find higher sales in winter seasons RNN and sequential data recurrent neural network is a solution for handling sequential data but there are two drawbacks with RNN one is the vanishing gradient second one is the exploding gradient we discussed solution for the drawbacks of RNN are LSTMs and GRUs here in this implementation we are using LSTMs the softwares used are sent to tensorflow you no know, air passengers this is the file i am using it here you can see it uh, here uh, you have the month and here it is hash percentages i had just downloaded from the net you can even you know uh, search it see the data set url I, this is the url i have used to see this url when you uh, type this url you will get this air passages com www.kaggle.com um, you know from here this is the url i used so if you copy it here see you will i will i will type it uh, see one second mm, yeah see if you run it here you will get the data set csv file this is the one i am using and uh, it's coming it's loading yeah from here you can download it okay fine uh, let's see see yeah you have this is the one see from here air passengers.csv now i will show you that excel file see here you have fully uh, two things month and passengers see it's uh, you know based on the passengers it's changing based on the timing from 1949 it's uh, see here it's uh, see up to i think it's 1960 it's given see based on this time how this change in the number of passengers that's what we are trying to analyze fine you want models scalon keras sequential then see i am using lstm here keras dot uh, you here you can see lstm keras dot layers dot import lstm uh, then uh, dropout 
uh, here I have you know I am reading the CSV file see I have shown you the CSV file is in this location uh, D colon you know this is the location you can see it here D colon Tatumasi deep learning time series it's included here air passengers dot CSV and here just let me run the code Uh, using TensorFlow back, yeah. See, it is printing the month and the uh, passengers from this print. DF dot head, fine. Jupiter notebook. See, I have it here. I will explain you the code that I have written. Uh, this is uh, DF dot month. I am getting the month. How I am getting it is uh, pandas dot two underscore dead time this method you are familiar i am passing the df dot month to this after that i am setting the index as month here then we have the train and the test i have go, i got the training and the testing data then i am using the scalar the min max scalar here scalar dot fit train train scalar dot transform and uh, test scalar dot transform test so those two mothers have called just i will run this with a very simple you know python code it's running uh, the model i am going to <coughs> see i have taken the input and underscore input as 12 and the features as one and the time series generator the, the generator i am taking it as the time series generator you can see it here it's um, see i am importing the time series generator from keras pre-processing sequence so i have the time series generator here and the batch size it is included it is six and the model it is sequential after that i am adding the lstm uh, layers the dropout the dense layer and i am using the adam optimizer here and um, the epox it's 180 180 i am setting it as the epox as 180 uh, the batch i'm you know writing the batch here uh, this is predict underscore list uh, list it's a list here so all these things i have written here if you want you can run that piece of code as well see it is um giving some error uh, let me see here trace back so what is the definition attribute error df underscore month set underscore index train df okay train dot test just one second it is fine here it is running here it is running then here it is yeah it's running fine it's not giving any error it's uh, now sorry it's fine it's running here it is now it is getting no it is training now the model is trying to um, it's, is it completed let me check it it's still going because the epoch we have given it is 180 it's reached up to 96 so yeah 100 103 106 109 yeah it's going it's still, it will take time yeah Fine. it's it's running fine see you can see it here i will first explain you the code for it's a for loop here we have given the n underscore input after that the predicted underscore list we have defined the list you, you can see here uh, the list is here it is see this is the list uh 
and we are appending uh, here and after that the batch is np.append and we are uh, uh, the batch also we are getting from this piece of code and the df underscore predict is equal to pd dot data frame scalar dot inverse transformation so we will get the df underscore predict here from the data frame and df underscore test test we will get it from the pd concat so this is the method you know from pandas uh, you will get the concat right uh, see pandas you have uh, here you will get the you know uh, pd dot concat and uh, we have we are printing the df underscore tail 13 see that's what the test uh, data the tail uh, it's a uh, 13 it's it's printed see it's a uh, nan and uh, we are getting the details it's hash passengers in the excel sheet you can see it here it is you know hash passengers so uh, and we are you know the plot uh, so we have got the plot as well you can see here see this is the it's marked in the red color here see this is the thing the plot also we are getting it and the variation it's marked in the red color fine you got it now i will what i simple python code only i will explain you the code i have taken the I, train is equal to df after that the scalar dot fit train then the scalar dot train the same steps we are repeating for the training data that is n underscore input is equal to 12 features is equal to one again the generator time series generator uh, that uh, generator we are you know we are passing the batch size the input length everything after that we are we have the model dot fit generator and the list we are uh, predicted list we are defining and the batch also we are getting from the train data uh, and we are res reshaping it that's all so i will run this piece of code then you can see here again it's you know just executing you can see it here we'll wait for some time it's, I think it's almost done let me see it no it's still doing Inside the for loop, the range it is n underscore input. The predicted list again we are appending the batch we are getting. Then we are we from the pandas we have the t series offsets data offset. This is the data offset we are getting. Add underscore dates and the uh, and the future dates from this we, uh, data frame we, we are after from the pandas data frame we, we will get the future date so this piece of code is really important you can understand this because you know here we are using the data ops sorry date offset that's from the pandas see add underscore dates that is the index plus date offset here we have the for loop x n range it's 0 to 13 future dates is uh, then again the pd dot data frame they are also index and columns so when we print we will get the future dates we will get it i will show you the future dates see it's printed 
we can see here you understood so now a df underscore predict i will pd dot data frame we got the you know inverse transform index and columns we will use it here this is the projected rate that we will use again the concat method from the uh, pandas and uh, we are getting the you know df underscore projected data i am showing printing it here and i am the plot also i am showing it here i will run it you can see it here the projected value c the projected values the plot it is shown and uh, if you want uh, this thing if you can print as well i think this has to be shown uh, the <laughs> Uh, data as well see here you can see the variation it's given here so this is the variation uh, when we uh, uh, plot it with the projected date this is the way we can analyze this and uh, the projected I um, mean you know, uh, this you can see all the variations the plots also you can see so this is uh, the time series prediction using LSTM.